Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to show you a book haul. Uh, this is some books that I gathered, you know, uh, these days. Uh, and some of them are a bit older. I'm, um, little by little, I'm gathering some books to show you in a book haul. I love to see book hauls. So... I love gathering books that I bought some while ago and some that I, that I bought recently to show you here. And today I don't have many books. They are like eight or something. Let me see. Seven books. Um, and seven that would be nine because three of them are a series but let's get let's get into the book haul so the first one is the afghan campaign from Stephen presley um, this is a saga from alexander the great this is uh, about um, the history of alexander the great And the, the great master of war, right? Uh, they, Stephen Pressfield has uh, another book, Virtues of War, I think, that uh, is also about Alexander the Great. So I think at least there are two books. I'm not sure if there, are, there aren't uh, others. But um, this book I bought in um it was a solidary uh cell um they were uh, selling books for one euro each so this book cost me one euro this is in a second hand book um and you, you know it was wonderful i think i bought 18 books that day so 18 euros for 18 books. What do you think? Isn't that a bargain? It was wonderful. And from Stephen Pressfield, I'm also wanting to read Gates of Fire. That's about the 300th uh, war, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it is, it, it is about. Uh, I saw a review a while ago of a Brazilian booktuber, Tatiana Feltrin, and she was talking about the story of the book and how she said that um, the beginning of the book was a little bit slow, but then um, it become more um, captivating but I'm really eager to read that one too another one that I bought a while ago is Snow Country by Yasunari Kawabata this one I saw I think it was Amy who talked about it I think it was her. Uh, she uh, was making not a review but a vlog video or something like that where she talked about this one and she said it was one of her favorites. It became one of her favorites. I don't remember right now uh, so much about the story but of what she talked about I was really intrigued. It seemed uh, like a more poetic book and really reflexive. So I was really, you know, curious about it. And I also bought it in second hand in a site that I talked about it here before called Trade Stories. That is a Portuguese uh, website where 
uh, we can buy and sell books in second hand and that's why I bought this one then I have War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy I this is an English edition but I'm not sure if I'm going to read this in English I have this book I was wondering to sell it but I think I'm going to keep it for a little while because I'm not going to pick it up in the near future anyway and but I have I have experienced Anna Karnina in English I read it the beginning of that book I read in English and I had a bit uh, of trouble uh, understanding the meaning of the um, phrases uh, then I bought the, the Ana Carnina, I bought it in Portuguese and then it was really easy for me so I think I'm, you know um, I'm thinking that maybe it's going to happen the same thing with this one that I'm going to have a bit of trouble reading this in English but you know, at the same time I think it's a um, really good opportunity for me to practice my English and read a real classic in English so, so that would be a challenge for me so I'm thinking that way but on the other, on the other hand I'm also wondering if I'm not going to have difficulties understanding the, the text so I'm just going to have to wait and see and maybe I buy the, the Portuguese edition anyway and I can read it at the same time as the English one so I can go back and forth between the two editions maybe then I have Tropic of Capricorn by Henry Miller and Tropic of Cancer also by Her Henry Miller um, I don't know much about I don't know anything that's the truth but what I understand of these books is that they are a bit scandalous in a way I, of what I understand they are a bit sexual but you know I have no idea of what they talk about I have no idea of the story in itself so I can't really talk about um, what the story is about but uh, I'm really intrigued I saw this one I think it was a uh, Portuguese bookstagrammer called Katia Vieira I think she on Instagram is Katia Vra I think uh, and she was talking that these uh, these books were some of her favorites uh, when people asked her um, which books were favorites she always mentioned these ones and I was really intrigued I never read anything by Henry Miller so this is going to be my first time so yeah I'm really curious then I have Perfume by Patrick Sunskind so I saw the movie uh, a few years ago so I don't remember of which year the movie is but you know it's some years ago yeah and I really love the story I don't know if the book is uh, similar to the movie I don't know if they made some adjustments to the story but I really fell in love with the story and I was really curious to read the book I think yeah I also uh, bought this one in second hand as this these two these ones 
for for you to have a um, really quick idea of what the story is about um, this is about a boy who is born uh, by a cells I think she was selling fish or something in um, how do you call it I don't remember but you know he was born and the mother just wasn't um, giving him any attention so he was kind of um, abandoned and then he grew up and for some circumstances he went to work with um, uh, how I don't know how you call it a perfume maker Perf perfumist perhaps I don't know um, and because he was very sensitive to smell and then he um, was passing w by a girl in the street and he smelled her and her smell was so intoxicated, into intoxicating that he went after her and he was um, trying to understand how he could extract that smell from person, from people um, and the story becomes a little macabre, 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 I don't know, um, and I'm not going to say anything else, but um, it ends up in ecstasy, it's a bit strange, but it's really funny at the same time. So yeah, I'm really intrigued by this book and I hope I'll, I'll enjoy it. And last ones. This is a really, really recent uh, buy. Uh, and this was really hyped. And I was getting away from it because of so much hype. But I saw the series and I fell in love. It was something like, I don't know what to watch. And I was passing through uh, some series and I fell on it. And I said, well, why not? Let's try it. And I simply fell in love. So I had to buy the books. And I'm talking about Heartstopper. So this is, I'm not going to say much about the story because I want to make a video all about it. I have the first volume, the second one, and the third one. I have already read them, the three of them. Uh, but I'm waiting for the fourth one, uh, he's coming maybe next week, so I'm going to make the video um, next week perhaps. This is really easy to read and this is a story about two boys that fell in love. They are in high school in, in England. Um, yeah. I, that's the only thing I'm going to say because, but the, you have to trust me, the story is really beautiful. I saw the series first uh, and um, the series had some differences from the book. Not so much. I think uh, that the series is very faithful still to the book. But it has some details that are different, but I really enjoyed it. And you know, it's um, a very sweet story. It's how sometimes it's difficult to come out in the society that we live in. 
and how peer pressure can be a really deterrent from uh, people coming out. And it talks about bullying, it talks about people cutting themselves, um, uh, how do you say it? Alimentary, uh, I don't know how to call it. I have to do my homework for the upcoming video that, that I'm going to do about this book and then I tell you with more details what I mean. But I think you should have, um, you should go and gave this book a try i think you're going to love it and also see the series it's really 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 funny and really sweet it's a really sweet story and so charming and yeah that's what i'm going to say about it so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a new video to do or anything.